Welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing. You guys are the best. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Uh, keep the suggestions coming, and I'll be more than glad to react uh, to them. So, today I'm going to be reacting to the strangest proof that the Quran is from Allah. Arabic 101. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Every single book in the world must have an author. The Noble Quran is therefore no exception. It is a book, so it must have an author. All Muslims believe that Allah is the one who revealed the Quran to Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. But those who do not believe so, they think otherwise. But who do they think wrote the Quran then? I mean, if they don't believe that the Quran is from Allah, then who is it from then? Because there aren't really many options, since Prophet Muhammad was the one who dictated the words to his companions, the writers of Wahi, to write it down. So, if they don't think it's from Allah, then it should be one of these four options simply because there isn't any other possibility. So it should either be that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, authored the Qur'an himself. The second possibility would be that he used the previous books, like the Bible or the Torah, to write the Qur'an. Third, a Christian or a Jewish person had helped Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to write the Qur'an. Or fourth, it was Satan who had helped the Prophet to write the Qur'an and tell him about the news of former nations that he hadn't witnessed. So these four are the only possibilities there are. If the Qur'an was not from Allah, there are no other options as to where the Qur'an came from. So if we can disprove or refute these four possibilities, then we're left with the only remaining possibility which is that it is from Allah. So let's look at these possibilities one by one and see how they stack up. First, Prophet Muhammad was the one who authored the Quran himself. And if you do think so, then how can you explain the following problems? The first problem is the style of writing. We do know how the Prophet talked and what his style looked like. How? We do indeed have thousands of ahadith, which are the quotations and sayings of the Prophet. So we know exactly what the style of these sayings look like. And it doesn't take an expert to realize the big difference between the style of the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and the style of the Qur'an. It clearly shows two distinct styles of writing. The second problem blaming the Prophet, peace be upon him, in the Qur'an. The Qur'an contains several blaming verses, or in Arabic, ayatul itab, where the Prophet, peace be upon him, is blamed for certain actions, like, or Ya Ayuhan Nabiyu Lima to Harrimu Ma Ahalla Allahu Laka Tabetari Mardata as Wajik. Or in this example, Abasa wa tawalla anja'ahul a'ma. And there are many other examples belonging to the same category. So if it was the Prophet himself who wrote the Qur'an, why would he blame himself in front of his companions? It is just simply not logical. The third problem is the prophecies. 
The Quran contains many prophecies about many events, some of which actually came true in the time of the Prophet, like the one in Surat Ar Rum. في أدنى الأرض وهم من بعد غلبهم سيغلبون في بضع سنين. Or the prophecy about the liberation of Mecca or فتح مكة in سورة الفتح. لا تدخلون المسجد الحرام إن شاء الله آمنين آمنين محلقين رؤوسكم ومقصرين لا تخافون. If the Prophet wrote the Quran himself. How could he have known things that were going to happen in the future? Wouldn't it be a big gamble losing your status among your companions if he predicted that something would happen and it didn't happen? The fourth problem is the delay of revelations. In certain incidents, the wahi or the revelation was delayed, like when a Jewish man came to the Prophet. Asking him about the people of the cave, but the Prophet said that he would answer him tomorrow, expecting the wahi, but without saying "Insha Allah," and so the wahi was delayed. Also, when his own wife was falsely accused in her honor, the wahi was delayed as well, which was a very difficult time for the Prophet, peace be upon him. If he was the one making the Quran. Wouldn't it have been more convenient for him to just come up with an answer in these situations and clear his name and his wives among his companions? These were not the only two incidents, but there are other situations in which the Prophet couldn't give a direct answer because he had to wait for the wahi. Problem number five: the challenge. The Quran contains many verses that challenge anyone who doesn't believe it. The challenge was to produce anything like it. The Quran even challenges humans and the jinn for that. If the Prophet, a human, had made the Quran himself, why would he risk embarrassing himself needlessly by challenging all humans and jinn to produce something like it? Problem number six: the personal information of the Prophet. The Quran contains no personal information about the Prophet, not his life, his children, or his wives. His name was mentioned in the entire Quran only four times, which is much fewer than the mention of other prophets, like Moses, who was mentioned 134 times, and his story came in 34 surahs of the Quran. Jesus was also mentioned dozens of times. Abraham, Noah, Joseph, and other prophets. So, if he was the one who had made the Quran himself, wouldn't he have given himself more credit, or at least talked about his struggles more often? So, as we can see here, this first possibility that the Prophet came up with the Quran himself is actually illogical and full of problems and questions for which there are no answers. Conclusion. It is impossible that the Prophet could have written the Quran himself, but could it be that he used the help of others? Well, then let's look at possibility number two. The Prophet used previous books like the Bible or the Torah to write the Quran, and this possibility could easily be refuted because the Prophet was illiterate, which means that he could not read or write. And even if we assume that he was not illiterate, where would he have got hold of the Bible or the Torah in Arabic? Did you know that the first Arabic translation of the Bible was made in the ninth century, which is a hundred years after the death of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Then how could he have read it? Added to that, and until around the eighteenth century. 
the church was essentially hiding the Bible from common people and forbade its translation. So the Bible was not just readily available, let alone a translation thereof. This leaves us with no other conclusion than that the Prophet could not have used the previous books to write the Qur'an. This possibility is off the table. Moving to possibility number three. If the Prophet didn't write the Qur'an himself, he didn't read previous books, was it then a Jew or a Christian that helped the Prophet write the Qur'an? If we sift through all the authenticated hadith, you will only find a single hadith about the encounter between the Prophet and someone called Waraqa ibn Nawfal, a Christian. However, the Prophet met Waraqa ibn Nawfal after the Wahi or the revelation came to him, not before. Furthermore, Based on authenticated hadith, Waraqa even testified that Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the Prophet. So how could he have been the one who would help him to write the Qur'an? And even if it wasn't Waraqa and it was some other Christian or Jew who would help the Prophet to write the Qur'an, how could they allow him to write verses like these? لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمْ Or a verse like this. لَتَجِدَنَّ أَشَدَّ النَّاسِ عَدَاوَةً لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا الْيَهُودَ وَالَّذِينَ أَشْرَكُوا How can it make sense that a Jew or a Christian would help the Prophet write something like that? This problem leaves us no choice but to say that it is impossible for anyone to have helped the Prophet write the Qur'an. Now, moving to the final possibility. Since the Prophet was able to tell prophecies and new things a human could not have known, then it must be Satan who would help him write the Qur'an. And this is indeed one of the most illogical possibilities, since we, as Muslims, are taught to seek refuge from Satan before starting to recite the Qur'an. فَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنَ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ Added to that, there are numerous verses in the Qur'an declaring Satan as the mortal foe of the human. So how could it be possible that Satan helped the Prophet to write verses cursing Satan himself and declaring him as the enemy? And why would Satan tell his plan to tempt humans and expose himself like that? Therefore, it is impossible for Satan to have helped the Prophet write the Qur'an. And now that all four possibilities out there are off the table, we are left with the only possibility that it is from the one with unlimited omniscient knowledge that the Qur'an is from Allah. And what better way to end this video than with Allah's words addressing those who deny the Qur'an. إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلُ رَسُولٍ كَرِيمٍ ذي قوة عند ذي العرش مكين مطاع ثم أمين وما صاحبكم بمجنون ولقد رآه بالأفق المبين وَمَا هُوَ عَلَى الْغَيْبِ بِضَنِينَ وَمَا هُوَ بِقَوْلِ شَيْطَانٍ رَّجِيمٍ فَأَيْنَ تَذْهَبُونَ 
إن هو إلا ذكر للعالمين لمن شاء منكم أن يستقيم وما تشاءون إلا أن يشاء الله رب العالمين. Thanks for watching. I hope you have learned something new today. If you did, please like and share the video for other people to learn from it. And please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Uh, interesting. As much as it's interesting, it still leaves the question unanswered. Who then was the author behind the Quran? Yes, the word is from God. God wanted to put out this message to his people. But then if Muhammad who was receiving the message could not read and write, who then actually wrote it down? I think that's what that's the only part that um, this video missed out on talking about. Otherwise, everything else, yes, they explored what um, non-believers may think or say, and they turned all that down, but still didn't answer the one thing that everyone would love to know. Put an M to it. I, and it would be much easier because it's like they answered everything else except the actual question otherwise I personally enjoyed watching this let me know what you guys actually think if there's any video that answers my question please be my guest and suggest it and I'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video Thank you.